Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for September 19th, 2022. Well, Friday we had a nice little relief rally bounce. Um, we had gapped down and bounced back up, but unfortunately, didn't recover or improve any of the technicals of the charts. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in, let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Monday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, the, the, the market tried to rally back on Friday after gapping lower. We broke um, um, some support levels in the chart, so we now have confirmed the downtrend with a lower high and a lower low. And unfortunately, the rally back didn't recover any of those technical problems in the chart. Now, we do have one index that's still holding up at that September low but all, uh, three others um, have broken and confirmed those lows. So this morning we're seeing uh, those bears come back in and as you can see, a little bit of bearishness here, um, trying to wipe out all of the gains on Friday all at once here this morning. Now, if we look at these charts, unfortunately, there's not a whole lot of support down here. As you can see, we've got a few, um, few little straggling candles down here, but no real, strong level of price support in here to be paying attention to so watch that closely if those bears continue to push um, we certainly could see new lows on the year if the bulls find some inspiration and we rally back let's watch this area right in here that'll be a key level of resistance to see whether or not we can push back up in the Dow. Let's look at our SPY. Um, SPY, uh, very much the same thing, breaking that support level here in the chart. Trying to bounce back up on Friday and it is being reversed here this morning with a bit of bearishness coming in. So we do have that confirmed situation here of the lower high and the lower low current downtrend is in play and of course the longer term downtrend of these indexes is, is still in play as well and unfortunately here again we don't have the best of price support levels in the chart a little bit better than we do in the dow a little bit more of low evidence right in there that we could bounce off of you can see we have these points in here that are trying, uh, may try to hold that price support in the chart, but watch that closely. And of course, if the bulls find that inspiration to uh, push back up, then we're gonna be looking at that resistance level in the chart that is substantial. Um, let's take a look at our QQQ. QQQ suffering a bit this morning as well gapping a little bit lower here after Friday's bounce. Once again, we are confirming um, lower lows and lower highs in the chart. And we have some work here to do. If we drop a line in here, you can see resistance above. If those bulls can find the inspiration, that's where I would look for that next resistance area um, in a bounce back up. And if we continue to slide lower, there is a little bit of price support right in here on the QQQ, um, but obviously that would be painfully lower here in the market. Then um, let's take a look at our IWM. Our IWM is the only index that has stubbornly held on to price support here. Friday, we bounced down into there on that gap down and we push right back up. Now we have just ever so slightly given up this trend as you can see here, um, that trend break support in the chart, but not so much that we couldn't recover that pretty quickly. So keep an eye on this, IWM is the strongest of the indexes. Now, if those bears continue to uh, push about here, we do have a pretty good level of price support right in this area, but if they were to break that, then I want you to notice we could move sharply lower before we find any price support in the chart that is substantial. So uh, actually the, the biggest price support is down here. So 
could be a little bit of um, a rough circumstance if IWM joins in with the selling here today. Um, keep a close eye on that. Now, if we back this up and go through our technicals, you'll see lots of technical damage here in the charts as well. Below the 50, 50 starting to turn over to the downside. Short-term averages moving down through. QQQ, same situation. I do, um, SPY, same situation and um, the diamonds being one of the most bearish kind of extended away from that 50-day moving average at this point um, showing lots of bearishness in that chart if we take a look at our VIX now our VIX on Friday um, relieve some of that pressure bouncing back up here as you can see on Friday bouncing um, as the, we bounced up in the market the the VIX pulled back but we popped up here um, just real quickly early on in the day on that gap down and, and created a new high here in the VIX on this current pattern but um, we saw those um, uh, buyers coming in pushing that back down so no harm no foul here in that chart we do want to watch this upside trend realizing that we are elevated the gap up this morning could certainly push us back up into here. What I'll be watching for is if that fear really starts to come in the market, if we were to break through up in here, I think that's where capitulation could begin in the market. Um, that's where everyone just kind of runs for the doors and you know throws up their hands and say, we're, we're finally going to give in to the bear and let the bear um, have its way here for a little bit instead of fighting it. I don't know if that's going to occur soon or even if it will occur, but that's where I would be watching for that up there. So just keep a close eye on the VIX. If we take a look at our um, T21... 22 chart well this is where we can get a little bit of hope that we may um, soon reach some kind of a relief as you can see we're stretching down here into that um, uh, bearish reversal zone here in the chart and this gap down this morning will probably pin us pretty close to the bottom in here on that move now one of the things that we have seen here recently is we're kind of an all-or-nothing market either we um, were trying to bullishly hold here and stretch to the upside well uh, it would be unfortunate if we continue to stretch to the downside and hold in this downside area so what we want to be watching for is that opportunity at some point in time a little bit of a relief rally to the upside We'll watch carefully for that. We certainly have plenty of upside um, potential here um, in this chart, assuming we can find the inspiration. And that's going to be difficult um, as we wait on the FOMC announcement to find a whole lot of bullish inspiration to, to get those bulls fired up and moving. So just kind of watch that close. I would expect some pretty challenging price action here over the next couple of days as we wait for the Fed to make their decision. If we take a look at our T2108, well, excuse me, 07. T2107 is our best indicator in here. Notice that if we take a look at this downtrend, we um, pop back through that downtrend and even with that little bit of selling on Friday, we held up in here holding on to that support and you can see that support right through there as well. So if there's a reason for um, that silver lining, it would be here in the small caps. They're trying to hold up better than the other indexes, so watch that closely. But when you take a look at the actual number, 25% of the stocks holding above their 200-day moving average, it's a pretty tough sell to be really bullish. If we look at our T2108, same scenario here, but this is far worse. We overextended this move, and I kept warning that we were way overextended in that. Uh, upside move and unfortunately we whipsawed down and in our recent rally back up we tried to bounce up into that resistance into the chart and that was also rejected so here we are with the situation with the percentage of stocks above their 40-day moving average uh, about 24 percent so pretty ugly 
um, situation here. Now that does suggest an oversold condition in, the, in that a relief rally may be on the way. So fingers crossed that maybe we can get a little bit of bounce here in the market. If we take a look at our T2101, our T2101 um, continues to show us a, that uh, pressure, but notice on Friday we had that little bit of bounce relief back up, but we're continuing um, this little downtrend pressure here on that selling momentum here in the market. So watch that carefully. Now, if we can get that bounce today, um, we may get a little bit more relief in the market, but if they sell and continue to break lows, um, watch out, it could be pretty challenging here today. Then let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for the day. Our economic calendar, well, it's pretty darn light um, this morning. Not a whole lot, um, you know, to inspire on the news here this morning. We've got the housing market index, and we know these housing numbers are probably not going to be that good throughout the week here. We kind of know that. So I, I kind of think they may be providing a little bit more of that bearish pressure than bullish pressure. But um, let's keep an eye on those. That's about all we have of major data um, here in the first part of the week. We've got some bond auctions, and we know those continue to be a problem for us as our bonds uh, continue to show pressure. Um, and continue to show that inversion and um, a strengthening recession. Um, we're going to have petroleum status. And then, of course, the big thing that everybody's going to be waiting for is the FOMC announcement here and the Fed rate decision. So keep a close eye on that. You may want to also keep in mind that uh, China lowered their interest rates overnight, um, creating more selling across the board in China. And we have a Japan rate um, um, number coming our way this week as well. So just keep an eye on uh, those data points. It's a relatively light earnings or economic calendar with you know, housing data and, you know, then our normal stuff, jobless claims and, and uh, things like that heading into the end of the week. Then if we take a look at our earnings calendar, our earnings calendar, well, we're probably going to just have some choppy. And there will be choppiness here around uh, these. There there are a few, there's a smattering of, of notables here that we'll want to pay attention to. But as a matter of fact, there's only one for today um, in those earnings reports, and that would be AZO, AZO um, reporting here before the bell. The only notable this morning, and you can see it's perking up pretty nicely here. Must have had a good report. So keep an eye on this resistance level. If it can push on through that resistance, looks like there may be some opportunity there. So let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me that quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. And then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these these videos to be useful to be helpful in you planning your day if you could please do me that favor click that thumbs up button leave that brief comment helps the channel to continue to grow and I just want to say thank you so much to everyone we're we're inching closer and closer to 29,000 subscribers and I just want to say thank you so much for everyone you guys are truly truly awesome let's take a look at uh, some of these stocks that could be setting up and please keep in mind guys these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you're going to have to do your own due diligence be very very careful here particularly the next couple of days with so much uncertainty about what's going to occur after that FOMC announcement so just make sure you're planning your trades carefully and you're not over trading this market um, let's take a look at a few things on the long side um, I've been uh, keeping a close eye on CCJ as you guys know I hold this I have short strike against um, the or short against the trade also a long in the trade in more of a uh, covered synthetic covered call position now we're pulling back to support in here pretty hard 
pullback here in the chart and I think largely because we're seeing so much strength in the US dollar so watch that carefully here if that were to break the support that could be a problem for us in the chart but if we can hold that area this has been very very bullish for uh, quite a period of time here if that could bounce up in there there may be some more opportunities yet um, in CCJ so keep an eye on that I'm still holding this position it's obviously pulled back on some of my profits but um, it's actually turned my short strike into a green trade as well so watch watch that carefully resistance doing its job in a chart how about that then let's take a look at um, plug now I've been keeping an eye here on plug power as you guys know and watching for this opportunity maybe setting up in the chart but we also have to recognize all of this resistance that we're seeing here um, quite a bit of resistance and we're at this point rejecting that resistance notice that little shooting star pattern right here um, that possibility of um, uh, a head and shoulders pattern in that chart and that pushback could be possible but if we can find some support in here then watch for that opportunity for that to push higher if you're looking for bullish charts you may want to look for those charts that have been pretty heavily oversold take a look at home depot now home depot is a trade that i hold um, as a short trade and that's just worked out beautifully but one thing we want to notice is this great big area of price support here in that chart and I've been watching carefully for the possibility of a bullish trade um, if that can hold that support um, here in the Home Depot so maybe look for some of those really big support areas and charts see if you might be able to find um, some buying in there now I, I know there was um, um, a report out um, that people should buy Nvidia um, Nvidia being um, an oversold stock and you can kind of see that same big price support area here in the chart but I gotta tell you guys um, it, it really doesn't matter to me if some talking head says this is a great chart until this chart can prove itself so watch this closely um, whoops that went and changed the tool on me here just a second um, when we look at a chart like this let's make sure we're not just trying to pick a bottom in here that's a bad habit for traders to get involved in um, let's see if we can actually break through some resistance levels in the chart and then hold a higher low before you take that headlong leap into something like this at least get a bullish technical pattern with a higher low because we have seen a lot of these reports come out like um, AMD just on and on there were tons of reports that AMD is just glorious it's got so much upside in it and then it just kept selling so um, remember when we're in a bearish market it's so hard to take too many charts bullish to the upside there's just a, not much inspiration for a lot of buying so watch that carefully now on the downside of things um, I'm, I'm going to suggest this and I know uh, most folks don't like to hear this but I think any rally back um, just like we had here in, in Microsoft where we rallied back to price resistance and downtrend we saw failure so if we do get that relief rally and we start rallying back in some of these tech stocks look for that opportunity that we may just engage that downtrend here and continue that move to the downside tech is running into lots and lots of trouble here in the market another place where you might be able to find a little bit of bullishness is on that energy side <coughs> And on the energy side, if we take a look at um, XLE, um, they have been holding up pretty well, but you can see what's happening here this morning. The strength in the US dollar as other countries lower interest rates like China just did, um, that strengthens the US dollar. And then we start to see that demand destruction start coming into play as uh, that dollar strength is running into some major um, destruction problems in other countries so watch that closely if it 
continues to fail here to the downside well there certainly is no reason to be a buyer yet but if we can find a place in here to hold and if we start to see the dollar weaken um, wow what a candle here in the pre-market um, if we start to see the dollar weaken then um, that's where we could really have um, those fuel prices begin to rise again so keep a close eye on that so with that guys there's a few things here for today I think we're going to struggle for inspiration throughout the day don't be surprised to see a lot of volatility very challenging price action for the next couple of days as we wait on the FOMC and remember the entire world is watching Watching, um, it could create some substantial volatility on that report. So make sure you're planning your risk carefully and not over trading in this environment. So with that, everyone, I want to wish you all of the best for the day. Thanks for uh, so much for being here. Take care, and I'll see you right back here bright and early Tuesday morning. Wish you all the best.